What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about Phasma by Delilah S. Dawson. So for those of you guys who don't know, Phasma is obviously about Phasma. It came out in the run up to The Last Jedi and it was intended to kind of give some context about her character, some like clues or tidbits about where her character could be going to explain some things that happened like with her behavior in The Force Awakens. And I read this book right when it came out last year. And at that point, I hadn't read very many Star Wars books yet. I was still very much testing the waters. I was still getting used to it. And I did not like this book at all the first time I read it. I could tell that it was good and that it was well written. I just found it really frustrating because the story structure is not what I feel like it should be. It makes for a kind of disjointed reading experience. I mean, that's just my opinion. That's not the kind of narrative that I like but it just made me really frustrated. I almost dropped this book because I got so irritated with it about halfway through, but I wanted to go back and read it because I knew that there was a lot of stuff here that I wanted to make sure I was remembering correctly or made sure that like I knew these details. And I'm really glad that I did because I liked this book so much more the second time around. The narrative stuff, still really bothers me. But the details in this book and everything that we get about Phasma is really interesting. That gets into spoiler territory, so I'll be talking about that stuff in a video on Thursday, but I really enjoyed it and it's really interesting. Gives me a lot of ideas about where things could be going in episode nine, so that's super cool. But like I said, the narrative structure is still frustrating to me. Because what we have is this really complicated game of telephone, because this is actually the story about a girl named Siv. She grew up on this planet with Phasma and it's them kind of venturing out of their home because Brindle Hux like crash lands. They're trying to help him find his ship. And that's the story. It's Siv telling the story of Phasma basically joining the First Order. She just doesn't really know it that way. And what's happening is that this story was told by Siv to a character named Vi, who's with the Resistance. And she, Vi, is captured captured by the First Order and is being interrogated by another character named Cardinal and she is telling that story again because Cardinal wants some dirt on Phasma because he wants to kick her to the curb. He doesn't like her. Cardinal is a very cool character. I do like him. But it like we didn't really need to go on this little like journey of characters here because it just makes it feel disjointed. I didn't feel like we get to live with any of our characters as much as I would like because we have four cool characters here. We have Vi, Cardinal, Phasma and Siv and none of them really felt fleshed out to me. Phasma, her whole characterization, it's all by design. So it makes sense that what we learn and what we don't learn, it, it was intended to be that way. She's supposed to be a mysterious character, but I don't really feel attached to Siv and it was supposed to be her story. I am intrigued by Cardinal, but we don't get a whole lot from him. So it's, it's interesting and it's kind of frustrating. We do spend a lot of time not even with Vi and Cardinal, which is in the current timeline, so that makes things feel a little bit disjointed. But overall, like I said, I enjoyed this book a whole lot more the second time around. I listened to it this time, which Star Wars books are always fun to listen to because you get music and sound effects and all of that fun stuff. And I would really recommend this book. There are a lot of awesome details in here. There's a lot of world building with the First Order. Obviously, you get all of this characterization with Phasma. You actually get a lot of stuff with Hux as well. And there are some clues and hints to some things that like we could be getting later on. I'm interested to see how that's going to play out. And of course, if you don't want to read the book, I will be talking about all of that again on Thursday. But this book is getting a B plus from me. I do highly recommend that you guys check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I'll see you guys next time.